a highly sensitive and powerful muscular trunk, coupled with fearsome tusks and sheer size. There is no other animal quite like the elephant. In the current era, only three species of elephants exist, almost identical in their appearance. But things take a strange turn the further you go back in history. The fossil record hints at extinct types of elephants ranging from pygmies to those exceeding the size of modern African elephants and body shapes with strange tusks that seem to be straight out of a work of fiction. Let's start off with an ancient elephant that is not too outlandish. Compared to the other creatures on this list, the stegodon did not appear to look particularly different from modern elephants. Among the various species, the stegodon's dansky stood out as one of the largest, with a height of almost 4 meters and weighing around 12.5 tons. Yet, in a fascinating twist, some island-dwelling stegodons experienced insular dwarfism, shrinking in size over generations due to limited resources. The stegodon sandari of Flores Island, for instance, was no larger than a water buffalo. The tusks of the larger stegodon species were impressive in size, reaching three meters in length and set so close together that the trunk could not fit between them. This meant that stegodons probably had to carry their trunks sideways over one of the tusks. Let's move on and take a look at another intriguing elephant from the past. Elephants are almost synonymous with immense proportions, but a prehistoric elephant known as the Paleoloxodon nematicus took this to another level. The modern African elephant stands at around 3.5 meters tall, while estimates based on partial thigh bones of a nematicus yielded a size estimate of over 5 meters tall with a weight exceeding 20 tons. This staggering size suggests that it would have been the largest land mammal ever known. Belonging to another branch of the proboscidean family tree which also contains elephants and mammoths, the mastodon was an animal that roamed the forests and valleys of North America, going extinct in the early Holocene period. Despite their physical similarities, their body structure was stockier, and they had a flatter head, whereas elephants and mammoths have a more rounded skull. We now arrive at the stranger portions of the elephant spectrum. The Gomphotherium was a curious elephant look-alike that was slightly smaller in stature than modern elephants but still much larger than a rhinoceros. Appearing around 34 million years ago, this ancient elephant is thought to have gone extinct around the end of the Pleistocene era, the last ice age. It truly stood out in terms of its physical appearance, with four tusks instead of two. The upper tusks pointed straight while the lower ones acted like a shovel, probably to scoop up aquatic vegetation from swampy waters. Its skull was flatter and more elongated than a modern elephant's, suggesting it had a short trunk, much like a taper. Journeying further down the weird elephant rabbit hole, we come across the Deinotherium. These oddballs of the elephant world existed during the period from the Middle Miocene to early Pleistocene. While they rivaled and sometimes exceeded the African elephant in size, their peculiar features are what really set them apart. The tusks are not located or shaped the way you would expect them. The Deinotherium sported downward curving tusks on their lower jaw, a feature unseen in any other elephant species. It is thought that the strange tusks allowed the animal to remove branches that got in the way when trying to gather leaves using its trunk. The crown of strangeness goes to the extraordinary prehistoric elephant known as the Platybelodon. Just a glance at its skull tells you that this creature would have been quite a strange sight. Its name translates as Flat Spear Tusk, a reference that conjures images of a beast with a remarkable dental toolkit. This ancient relative of modern elephants was part of the Shovel Tusker family and lived during the Middle Miocene epoch, about 15 million years ago. It boasted a set of lower tusks that were flat and shovel-shaped, resembling a pair of elongated spades protruding from its jaw. These tusks were the Platybelodon's multipurpose tools, used to strip bark from trees and perhaps even to scythe down branches, much like a modern-day gardener wielding a pair of pruning shears. As we have just seen, the history of the elephant is full of surprises, 
a world filled with an astonishing number of evolutionary adaptations and variations that certainly defy what I thought was possible. The next time you encounter an elephant, know that you are in the presence of an amazing animal with a rich evolutionary heritage.